but they do have a very varied, varied diet and, and like I say they eat a lot of different things but here in this particular part of the world and where we are most of our leopards will target small to medium sized antelope that's what they're going to be going after and that means things like the impala and the steenbok but did you see he's yawning now yawning is a good sign that he might stand up he's getting oxygen into the lungs and he's going to try and get the lactic acid that's built up from him sleeping all day to move around the body so we might get lucky and he might stand up I'm hoping that he will and that he'll go into the tree no he's just looking around at the stage but if he yawns again then maybe we will have a better indication if he's going to stand up. It's a good thing to look for when you see a cat yawning if it's been sleeping for a long time it often means that they are going to start moving. No, he's just looking around. He's still very aware of what's around him just making sure that there's no other signs of threats because when he's got food like this things like hyenas and lions and other leopards are going to be attracted to the smell and those are all going to be dangerous oh look at that yawn did you see how big his teeth are he's got those massive canines that he has and those are going to be what he uses to be able to hunt and, and to kill animals and then the rest of his teeth are a little bit different shape they're more triangular which is what he'll use to actually eat the meat of the impala or the steenbok yawn Simeon you want to know if animals have ever tried to scare me away or scare me off yes Simeon I've had elephants rhino hippo um, buffalo lion and leopard all charge me and try and snarl and growl and trumpet and vocalize and chase me away so I've had all of them at some point and and they sometimes it's because they're protecting their baby sometimes they're injured and and you come across them and you don't know that they're injured or sometimes they're having a bad day particularly with the elephants they can sometimes be a little bit grumpy and they've had a bad day and then they just decide that you're going to irritate them and then they get a little bit cross and they chase you away so you do see it from time to time from them and I have been chased by them but the best thing with that is when you just see an animal that's not happy and it's it's giving you some warnings sign so maybe it charges towards you or it trumpets at you or it growls at you is to give them space and to move away from that animal and not to stress it out in any way and then what will happen is that animal once you moved away it will realize okay this is not a threat to me and over time it will get used to your presence and then it's going to be comfortable with you being closer like we are with this leopard and we won't have to stress the animal and the animal won't be stressed by us and we won't be stressed by the animal being aggressive to us so it's all about res being respectful to the animals much like we need to be respectful to people it's the same with animals. We need to be able to give them the space that they need. And if they show that they're not happy, then they we move out the way. So you see he's standing up. I told you he'll move if he yawns a lot. And there we go. He's now going to start slinking off into the darkness that is the night. So he's not going up towards the tree, which means we'll probably end up leaving him in this area and, and letting him slink off down into the drainage and try to see if we can go and catch up with those lions that are not lying too far away from us. Olivia you want to know if this leopard has found a mate Olivia no not yet because he's too young so this leopard is only now he's just under two well he's about just over a year and a half old so he's not very old at all male leopards will only find a mate generally when they're four or five years old sometimes a little bit earlier but most of the time four or five years old is when a leopard finds a mate whereas this guy is still a little bit too young so he's going to have to wait for a bit he has to grow up he has to get bigger he's still a little small to be trying to mate with the females so it's going to be a while now look he's coming to the tree I wonder is he going to go up the tree for us I hope he's gonna go up the tree it looks like he's going towards it there we go you see he's looking you'll see how quickly he'll go up it's amazing to watch when the cats jump into these trees they are so athletic and the leopard has so much power it will be very quick yeah I think he's gonna go look there we go up he goes and into the tree how cool is that so it's always one thing to see a leopard oh and up he goes to the carcass so there is where the kill is and that's what he's going to try and now start feeding on isn't this cool <laughs> Reese, you want to know how long the food will last him in the tree do you see how he's easily able to move in the trees this is what makes leopards so special he's unlike the other cats that really struggle in the 
trees and can't climb very well, leopards are completely at home. And look at how he's able to move around. It really is amazing. Now, Reese, the tree, the carcass will last probably. I mean, this carcass has lasted now just over 36 hours that he's had it. So it will probably last the night. And by tomorrow morning, most of that will be gone. But then he's got another carcass. And that's why they put it in the tree. Because it's going to last longer. Because he doesn't have to worry about fighting hyenas up in the tree. And look, he's now sitting right at the carcass, getting comfy so that he can start eating. Or just to protect it and lie on his carcass. Because when you have a food, sometimes you have to sleep on it if you're a leopard. To make sure everybody knows that it's yours. So he's actually sleeping on the meat at the moment which is not going to be very nice because he's going to be a bit stinky later but I suppose he's just showing everybody that this is a carcass look he's watching I think maybe a hyena is coming this way because there was a hyena behind us and he's looking behind me so maybe the hyena is coming I said can you see a hyena behind us yes there's the hyena behind us yeah, the hyena is going to come now now so hopefully we will see it A young hyena that we've got behind us so that's why was the leopard in the tree is watching so carefully but the problem is is it's right behind where Sebastian is so there you can see the hyena behind the car so I apologize about the antenna because unfortunately that's how we send our signal to all of you but there we go there's our hyena so you see look look at how it's built it's very different to the leopard you see it's got a angled back not straight back like the leopard it does have spots the same way but it has a very powerful head and that angled back is because hyenas are scavengers a lot and when they do hunt they try and chase animals for long periods of time they don't have a short burst of speed like the leopard does and so that's why they have a very different back structure to what the leopard does wow well we're going to sit here and just enjoy our beautiful leopard sitting on top of his carcass and we're probably then going to try and see if we can go and find those lions with the big male for all of you and while we do that let's go across to Taylor who's still sitting with her lions and hopefully her lions are going to decide to get up and move around and maybe head towards those buffalo in the distance <laughs> 